Sandtroopers.com. Never imitating, always innovating. Bringing you the latest coverage in the Star Wars galaxy. Welcome back, troops, to the latest edition of Sam Watch Live. Uh, many of you enjoyed figure number 25 of the Clone Wars, our review of uh, Kid and Mundi the other day. Uh, we're going to keep that rolling. Uh, let's just say uh, landing at Point Rain was all in my brain. Since Comic-Con, things just don't seem the same. Uh, acting funny. Perhaps Celebration 5 is why. Excuse me while I review this guy. Yes, it's figure number 26, the flamethrower clone. Uh, this sample here that I obtained does not have his uh, heavy Republic flamethrower. I had uh, Boba Banks alter the f frame in the opening round there so you could at least get a look at it. Uh, for additional photos, uh, you might want to check out our San Diego Comic Con. Uh, our man on the scene, Rodel Cruz Herrera, aka Odiwan, managed to snap a shot of it. That, you, and you'll at least be able to get a real good look. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to cut away to the nitty gritty real quick and we're going to see what this figure has to offer you and uh, we'll see if it's worth putting in your collections. Come on. Okay, taking a quick look at the flamethrower clone, you might ask yourself, Spice, you know, what are you talking about? This thing doesn't have much more to offer than you know the cold weather Captain Rex did well you know I don't know I disagree I think the paint job is really cool even though it is essentially the same figure it has all the articulation in the elbows the wrists and if you did have that heavy Republic flamethrower it, he could definitely position it really well uh, you know we'll just have an imaginary uh, flamethrower uh, when I donate this to my son Tyler after this review, he'll probably put uh, Dreadnought Torch's flamethrower in there. In any case, you check out the backpack comes off there, uh, the the helmet comes off, the same uh, same looks like a Cobra. I think it's Cobra Commander, might be Cobra Viper, but I really do like the flame on there. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, the head does somewhat move, but only to some degree. Uh, the armor looks like it might even be upside down when you look at it, but it comes right off there and uh, just just kind of goes right back on. There it is. Uh, but yeah, fully articulated. Nice paint job, though. I thought it, they did a great job. I, I really like uh, whoever they're getting this material from, from this for this cloth these days. It's really nice. It doesn't seem to want to fray or be cheap like some of the stuff we've seen on, on Jedi over the years. Uh, the knees do bend. I think the knee pads are very, very cool. It's, it knees swivel too, so it's, you can position them all kinds of ways. It's uh, a great figure. You know, it's, it looks very slick, and I think if you had a, uh, if you had the, you know, three, or four of these guys, you'd have no problem roasting battle droids or Geonosians or you know whatever else was in front of you. I think they did a real good job and. You're going to want three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them in your collections. So, is this a figure that you absolutely must run out there and have? I don't know, guys. You know, it, it's one of the ones where I think if you had the figures, you, you had four or five of them with the flamethrowers, all with the flames, you know, on, it looked really cool. And even so, it's kind of like the Robo Nino figure where it doesn't look too animated. You, you might be able to pass them off with your other clone troopers from Revenge of the Sith, so that might be kind of cool. So some of you guys who just buy, you know, the, the uh, basic line and stay, and stay away from the animated stuff, this figure may have some appeal to you. Uh, I don't know, for me personally, it took me back to the Landing at Point Rain episode at, at, at the Comic-Con presentation. I remember with Dave Filoni, they gave us a little bit of, you know, a little sneak peek of the upcoming season, and I remember seeing the flamethrower clones and everybody... The whole room exploded and cheered, and it was very, very cool. So, I mean, for me personally, uh, yeah, that was uh, it, it just took me back to that. So, uh, am I a little bit mad that my figure here didn't come with the flamethrower? 
Ah, maybe. It's not a big deal. It was shown with the gun in the auction, so I'm not upset in the least bit. But uh, I tell you what, in the worst case scenario, I've got the cleanest garbage cans in the state of Illinois, so you can't beat that. Uh, until next time, troopers, visit sandtroopers.com uh, for celebrating our 10th year online, the original Imperial. Uh, until next time, I'm Dar Spice. United we find, we're out.